Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at Mario Kart 8 in some online gameplay on Simu Emulator. So let's switch over to full screen and let's jump into one player online and see can we get a game in the global playlist. So quickly, I'm just going to jump into a race and I am going to pick, who will I pick? Baby Mario? No, Bowser. Okay, let's just pick Tanuki Mario. Okay, so straight away let's pick the land ship, my favourite, some Zelda wheels, and let's pick a glider. Which glider will we pick? Where's the Zelda one? Will we pick the Zelda one? No, let's just pick something random, let's go with the cloud gliders. Okay, so we're currently spectating, so we should get put into a, into a new match, but we're going to be spectating it, I believe. And then after this race ends, we should get put straight into a server where we're going to be able to pick our own races. So yeah, as you can see, you will join next race, sit tight. So we are actually now currently loaded into a multiplayer game on Nintendo servers. That bit of slowdown you saw there was actually related to server side lag, not so much related to CMU. So maybe this server, this server could be actually anywhere in the world. So I'm not quite sure how the matchmaking works for Mario Kart 8, to be honest. All that I do know is that when you get server side lag, your FPS actually drops in CMU emulator. So I'm not exactly sure if there's any fix. If there is, I'll try to find it. And if there's not, there's not really much we can do about it, to be honest. So um, yeah, well, I guess we just kind of have to wait for this race to finish out and we should get put into our own matchmaking server. So I'm probably just going to edit this little bit and speed the footage up so we can actually get into a game of our own. Okay, so here we are. This is our race or track selection screen. So which one am I going to pick? Okay, let's just pick random and we'll, we'll see where the, uh, where the dice rolls once everyone has picked their own track. As you can see, it is indeed myself. Um, you can select any of these uh, greetings or emotes or whatever you would call them, I suppose. Greetings more so than emotes. And uh, we basically need to wait for everyone to pick a track and then it will do a random selection of which track we get to race on. Okay, so since everyone didn't pick, it gave us the 10 second countdown as you saw and now the game is going to randomly select a track for us to race on. And wouldn't you know what we get, Rainbow Road, one of the most synonymous tracks in all of Mario Kart history. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's get into the race and see how we can do. Now please bear in mind that I am actually really, really terrible at Mario Kart. So um, yeah. <laughs> so basically at the start of every race, it hasn't started yet because, well, now it's started, but it, it has to wait basically for all the players to fully join in and then it'll fully start the race. So. Let's get started. So let's do a little power slide around the corner. Let's race through. Let's try not to get trampled. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We're up in six. We're up in six. So let's try pick up some coins coming around these car. Okay then. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, let's jump over. Get our little boost. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. So ninth. Well, that's not great. Let's uh, let's try to get. Well, that's not going to help too much. Let's try to catch up and see if we can actually get into a respectable position by the end of this race. Okay, come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Okay, there we go. That'll work. Okay, let's power slide around this corner and try use these boosts to gain some ground. Oh no, please don't be bad. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, let's power slide again. Get a power up. Okay, three more. Yeah, so I'm guessing it still works. Okay, let's not hit the bananas. And there's a little bit of server side slowdown. So, uh, yeah, I thought we were actually in last place, but I guess we weren't. We were in second last place and a small bit more server slowdown. Okay, so there we go. This will help us, uh, this will help us gain a few places. So let's, uh, let's, let's still power slide and let's try take out as many of these racers as we possibly can. Okay, some more boosts. Let's try power slide this corner and then get these boosts into game more ground. Okay, our last boost. Let's use it and catch up. So we're up to seven. So that's not too bad. God, he took my power up. Okay, let's try going between these because we're going to get smashed if we don't. Power slide and get our boost. Let's try and make it around this corner. Oh, nice. Almost made it. Oh, this is going to be close. Yeah, that's the corner I always fall off at. So we're up to seventh. Oh, this could gain us a lot of ground. Did I use it too early though? I might have used it too early. I should have waited till we were closer to the finish line to use this. We're up into third. Second. Oh, you son of... Oh, fifth. What are we getting? Sixth. Oh. Yeah, so that's not too bad. So um, 
yeah, this is my first race. Well, second race, I suppose. I did one earlier on, but um, I didn't record it. And in that, I definitely didn't come 12th. So uh, sixth, that's not too bad. So please be aware that if you want to use online mode with CMU, you do in fact need a Wii U in order to dump all of your files. Um, if you want to use the same guide that I used to set up online mode and to dump any of the files uh, that are required for this to work, I will have that linked down in the video description. It was made by Flocker, one of the awesome guys over on the CMU Discord, and it is actually really, really well set up and really well written, so it's quite easy to follow. Um, so yeah, so cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.